here in Canada on a visiting visa, please watch my video or you're coming on a visiting visa. Please watch this video to the end. See, uh, try to understand that with the situation on ground, life, like the challenge you will face is times 10. Let's just, um, I'll use the word as challenge. And uh, due to the fact that a lot of people are looking for jobs, the citizen, the work permit, the student, at least you had like people, like jobs, the citizen are looking for jobs, the students are looking for jobs, the people with uh, work permit are looking for jobs, the PR order, like people that are here on permanent resident, they are looking for jobs. So, like these are people that are here legitimately like they can they have the the valid proof that they are entitled to work like they can work with any companies with any you know they are looking for jobs now you are coming to come in here on a visiting visa yes you can find a job that will sponsor you but the only thing you need is your skill let me use the word skill now any skill I will advise you come with a tangible skill like something that you will be able to prove like something that you can use to work like um, something that you can work with even before you get in a job let's say for example maybe you are here on maybe you learn like a barbing you learn barbing and um, I believe you can start barbing your friends your um, people around you, Nigerian community around you, India community around you, you know, like, depending the time you find a barbing saloon that was sponsored your visa. So now, uh, right now, I'm a second year level um, heavy duty mechanic. And I can tell you that in my first year, do you know what we do in the first year? Like, um, let me say, let me just give you the brief this thing. As a heavy duty mechanic, the company will be the one to sponsor your apprenticeship. Apprenticeship, apprenticeship in Canada yeah, is different from back home in Nigeria. I'll use Nigeria for example. I don't know where you're watching me from. Because apprenticeship here, the company will be the one to send you to school. The company, you will be paid like, like you're just a regular staff or you're a student. So as, an, as a first year heavy duty mechanic, at least we are uh, hen uh, 32 35 per hour so depending over time like 40 something so that's just it so now do you know what we do in the first year is oil change oil change it means that we call it loop tech so it means that if you can learn oil change like if you know how to change your car or like you know how to change your car engine or you're good to go so now why i don't know if you you watching me maybe you want to come here in a few months time or you already have your visa or your year try and learn something before you come even if it's just how to change brake parts even if it's just to change oil even if it's just to change anything stroked so like anything so now like just look for a skill you feel is okay for you and learn it with that you'll be able to survive you don't want to be see it's not okay to be homeless in nigeria it's not good to be homeless in india in philippines i don't know where you're watching me from but it is very bad for an immigrant coming from nigeria coming from africa to be homeless here in Canada as I'm talking to you the weather is minus 40 degree you don't want to be homeless here and there are homeless people here so I'll just advise you learn something and that skill will take you far I'll say my HR told me said Ty we've never done this before we've never sponsored people before but you will be the first person and they did it for me so i would just advise you 
learn something, get a skill, one month skill, two month skill, three month skill, six month skill, and it the skill will take you far, 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 far away. So that has any skill, I don't know, maybe you are female, you are a male watching my video. I'm I'm talking as a brother, as a friend to you. You will survive here with skill. The country doesn't want people sitting in the office anymore. They want people with skill. And the skill will take you far, far, far away. So now, this will be the end of this video. I don't want this video to be that long and... I don't really like long videos anymore. <laughs> so this please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will be a word of encouragement to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Bye-bye.